بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين My name is Mary Cecilia Enoka in, in Islam it's Maryam um Aziza <laughs> And I'm New Zealand born, Cook Islando, and white Australian. I've had six children and four grandchildren. And I live in Hastings, Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. I was raised in a Catholic family. I think father's side is Presbyterian. I was sort of on the streets at 12. Um, it was safer for me than at home. Most of my family don't know that. <laughs> um, there I took to drinking because I just couldn't find God anywhere and all the places where people are drinking was where I ended up and so I was asking all these people, where's God, where's God? And I remember they always used to start talking about him, you know, they're all drunk but talking about God and still I didn't find God. <laughs> so I just kept on drinking and trying to, I knew I always wanted to follow God. I always had a love for the Arabic clothing and all these things. I just had a love for them, I don't know why. Um, but God has always been there somewhere. You know, um, this may be haram, but I've experienced a lot of spiritual things as well. Mm. But learning in Islam, I'm willing to put all those things aside things in my culture that doesn't belong. I'm just so willing, I'm like Aziz, I just want to, my life is belonging to God. <laughs> While I was on the streets, until now I've mostly grown up with Māori people, um, which in our history we are actually their elders. Um, not, I don't know, in a peace, safety, um, I just had to have the search for God, and it wasn't forthcoming then. <laughs> um, when my ch kids were children, um, I looked at all my life, all the things around, what everyone offers out there now is drugs and alcohol and all these filthy things. And I wanted my kids to have another option, so I took up with the Baptist Church. More for them than me, because I know I'm already sinful in those things. And it also helped me a wee bit anyway. But then negative things in there, so we just all started drinking and everything again. Most of the time I've been just about 26 years solo mum, things like this. So, the, like Aziz, for example, has never had a father figure. He's only had me, I have to be mum and dad. And I've tried to do the best I can, especially for the boys, because, you know, boys are important. Whether in Islam or not, to me, a boy is important, a man's important, because they are the head of the house, and it's just something I've always believed. But I don't believe abuse belongs in in a life. So those are things I've been struggling with myself. And I find it in Islam it's really easy for me to live the life I believe because there's no abuse in it, you know. Um, it's a stricter religion than Christian Christianity and that's what people need these days because they're just running wild out there, you know. The kids are suffering, kids have got no dads, dads are suffering, everybody's suffering.
because they followed the structure given from Allah. And those are just all the things I've grown up believing myself personally to get myself through life. Uh, my older daughter took up Islam and it's, I started thinking about my grandchildren that I barely had then. <laughs> she, she was just starting to be pregnant. And what kind of life I wanted for my grandchildren and the grandchildren's parents and all these things. What do I want in my life? How do I want my future and their future to be? And I thought, no, I'm too sinful. I don't want to go to Islam, nothing. No church, nothing, nothing. <laughs> um, I'm quite happy, have a couple of drinks, have a good sleep, you know, wake up in the morning. But what about all these th other things? Where's my family going to be? And this is at an older age, you know, I'm an adult now. And I came back from Australia in Carlos. It wasn't actually his tawa that turned me. It was watching what he's doing and how he speaks. And he's my strength to follow other. Sorry, it's um, proud. <laughs> I'm proud of Carlos. Um, Islam is an awesome change for my kids. And I decided all my kids are together with Allah <laughs> and I want to be a Jana with Thibaw <laughs> and I'll give up my life everything now to do that. The culture it may be a good thing in our lives sometimes but after all it's not Allah you know <laughs> you can't take all these things to Jana, you know. What do you want? Those things out there. Um, Self-satisfaction. Only Allah's going to give that to you. I know because I've been in most things in this world, except the only thing I haven't experienced is war. I've experienced bad things. And my only answer is, the peace is in Allah. The life is in Allah. My kids' lives in Allah. Uh, my family has reacted to my change. For example, my mum, she is devout Catholic. Um, I've only come to know her as a mother in the past seven years or so. Her attitude is, you can be anything you like, but don't tell me, <laughs> you know. She says, there's only one God, but it's in the Catholic system. <laughs> All I can do is keep loving my mother. <laughs> um, one sister is drinking and drugs, everything. And she's been really hard, but she's good, she helps. But anything else she doesn't want to know. She tells me, please don't wear hijab, nothing when you're going to work. I decided, I follow Allah, this is what I like to do, so forget everyone else, I don't care if they get angry or whatever. And nobody gets angry at me. <laughs> I just wear it and go. So that's good. Um, everyone else, I'm just... Normally me, they ask me, am I Muslim? I say yes, and they ask me a few more questions. Why, what do you do, all these things, and I just tell them straight. And I tell them I'm quite happy, and if they want to find out more, I tell them, please come to the mosque, you're welcome. Islam for society, for people, whether they got their cultures, whatever. I just say, um, everything out there is rubbish. I've done it all, I've been there. It's just rubbish, rubbish, it's a dead end. And what are you going to do when you die? <laughs> Jump in your bottle, <laughs> you know? The only hope is Allah. Um, Give those filthy, horrible things away, those dangerous things. If not for yourself, give it for your kids.
they are, the, they are important. Give it for your husband, give it for your wife, your brothers and sisters. That's what matters, not material things, not drinking, smoking, that's just rubbish. I think you learn to respect other people more. You learn to respect yourself. You learn what a real family is. You learn who's the boss and who's not. I'm talking of Allah as the boss. He's the head. There's rules for proper diets, looking after your health. Um, there's everything. <laughs> it's all good. There, there actually is something else I would like to add is I'm 54. I'm very sick at the moment. I have six children, nearly five grandchildren. No money, I'm broke as anything. <laughs> um, so for you people at my time of life, you know, what have you got left anyway? What are you fighting for? Why are you making yourself suffer? Turn to Allah. <laughs> Find your peace. And forget about yourself. There's your kids, your grandchildren. There's their children. And there's Jana at the end. <laughs> Inshallah.